tape readers. So it's Mark here. Um, it's about 25 to actually it's about quarter to nine and just looking at this DAX chart here now I uh, hope to capture a bit of tape now I like to put the DAX on and European markets in the morning I'm at home by the way so on my laptop so I'm just shuffling around my uh, layouts here and uh, I've noticed this this little move now it's not part of my trading plan to trade the DAX at the moment so I won't be trading it but you know, I'm recording it, recording it because if we can get some uh, get some good tape stuff. So I recorded this, and um, yeah, there's some, some good moves on here. You'll see some uh, some bits and pieces that we talk about in the course. So let me just put the VWAP on. Uh, upgraded trade station. You know what up trade station is like. If you've got a trade station, it's a bit of a gamble when you're upgrading whether you're actually going to get the upgrade or not. So uh, uh, whether you're actually going to upgrade your uh, indicators with it, should I say? So anyway, just chuck that VWAP back on. I just want to see how far away that DAX has gone from the VWAP, and uh, make sure just make sure it's the right VWAP as well. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why I've got a couple of different types of VWAP. Um, I need to delete them and just. Uh, I think it was when I was searching for the right one, I ended up having quite a lot of uh, different ones on there until I found the one that I was after. But yeah, this is the right one. So, okay. So, yeah, this is, I love this sort of setup. You know, it's the classic setup. We talked about it before. Um, in the range, we've pushed below the range and now we've pushed above the range. So, we've got double fuel to the fire. But more importantly, it's the drive, pull back, flag, let's buy, looking for the highs. That's the trade. We know it's the trade. Talk about it. This is when we start to zoom in on our tape. Now, we talk a lot about um, the supply demand imbalance and the seesaw. Well, at the moment, we are pretty much equilibrium. However, if we're looking at this, the eights, the sevens, the eights, this has been sitting here for a while. We've got mixed on the time and sales, so we're not we're not flooding green or red at the moment. Um, but in the context of the trade, the context of the position, let's look at the actual uh, price chart a bit, zoom in a little bit on the price chart, because really, as we know, as we as I said in the you know in the program, listen, context, it's all about the context, guys. We're not we're not tape reading every single point, are we? We're, we're waiting for our, our prime point, and this is perfect because we've driven up, we're starting to pull back. Actually, we're popping now. We're starting to pop. Let's get back onto the uh, onto the tape. So we're starting to pop. And now we just want to see now how far this is going to go. We just want to see how far this is going to go. So let's look. Now it looks quite strong, doesn't it? We've had the pop. We've had the expected pop. The hypothesis is that it's going to take out the high. Now is it going to take out the high? Let's have a look at the tape. So what we've got here, we've got 13s. We've got 14s being hit. 14s being hit. Um, someone's coming on there. 10 lots. He's being filled. Now we're hitting the half. Ah, let's just pause it here, right? See that there? 23 lot coming on the offer at 14. Again, talking about the response of price. So what's the response? What's the price response, the market depth response to that big, well, I say big, but you know, in the scheme of things, in the scheme of what's happening, uh, someone putting a 20, 23 lot or a 20 lot, and I think it might have been a few there already, uh, on that offer is, is, is okay. It's reasonably big. It's, it's a, a slightly aggressive move, isn't it, we would say, in the, in the context of things. So let's see now. We, we know our supply demand imbalance has shifted slightly towards the demand level because we pushed up and we're holding here. Now let's just see what happens when a bit of supply is coming in. Resume the playback. Okay, he's getting nibbled, he's getting nibbled, he's getting nibbled. Bang. He's hit, filled, and what happens? We get 20 lots coming on the bid at 6, 8, 14. So not only did he take that, not only did the buyer take that, he's actually come on now. I'm going to push it forward a little bit more. He's actually taken that and he's put on a 20 lot of 14. So he wanted, whether it, I'm saying he, I mean, whether it's one buyer who's buying 40 lots or 40 guys buying one lot, it doesn't matter, but it looks like it's one buyer because it came on pretty instantly. The point is when that supply came in at 14, demand was there to meet the supply and then more demands come on. Now, put yourself in the shoes of the dude, the guy uh, to 6814. You know, that guy's come on. Uh, he's taken his 27 lots. He's stuck 21 lots on there. He wants at least another 21 lots because he wouldn't have stuck it on there. And now the market's moving away from him. And he sees that there's a 22 lot of 615. So let's see what happens at that to that guy there. Okay, he gets nibbled. He gets filled. And look, the same situation's happened here, guys. The 15, there's a guy there at 15. He's been there a while. Uh, for whatever reason, we don't care what the reasons are for these people. But... Look what's happened. That's been taken, swept away, cleaned out, bought, job done. Not only that, 
we've got a 40 lot has joined that bid at 15. And in fact, in that split second that that 15 was 15 offer was taken and the bid jumped up, and I've managed to press the record button, uh, sorry, the, the pause button, we've now seen another 19 go above that, another 12 go above that, and there's a little one lot sitting there at 8.5, and actually people are hitting the 17s. We've had 4, 5, 6, 7 hit the 17s, and that's just in the second or two that that 15 broke. There is your indication that the supply-demand balance seesaw is well and truly, well and truly shifted in the favour of, uh, of buyers. It, it really is, you know, you can just see that because we had the supply there at 14 to start off with. So this is a, literally five seconds of action has given us all the information we need to do. And now what we're going to do is we'll generate a trade idea from that. Okay, assuming, assuming that we weren't already in the better trade, which is the pullback after that explosive move. Explosive move, pullback, we know that's the trade to be in. And we're now we're looking at this to, to scale out. You know, what, what, what level do we scale out? But if we're not already in that, and we're looking for a three or four second take reach, we want to grab a few ticks and get out. Let's generate a trade idea from that. But anyway, we'll talk through what we've seen. 14, summarize, 14, seller was on there. He was hit, 20 lot came on, no feel for the buyer. Stepped up, steps up, stepped up. There's a 20 lot left over, 22 lot left over at 6, 8, 15. That then was taken, and not only that, this is the thing that we're really, really important to see. He was taken, 40 lot was put on the bid in its place, the guy trying to get filled. Someone went above him at 15 and a half, 19 lot, someone went above him at uh, 16, 12 lot, and then and people are hitting the, the, the 17s. So what's our tradable idea? We know now that the strength's there. We know that there's people panicking, and we know, what well, we don't know, but it's likely, our hypothesis is that we're going to run through this high because we've got all those guys there who haven't been filled who, who want to be filled. You know, there's about, what's that, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 lots or so of, of reasonable, aggressive buying. Um, so we've got that that perhaps going to take us above that 19 and we know there's going to be guys with stops there we know there are you know that's that's the way of the world you know and we know there's also going to be people who who you know we we take advantage of by you know we're selling into these guys but there's going to be guys there who are buying that breakout you know they're going to be sitting through all of that and they're not going to be looking for uh, you know they're going to be waiting for the textbook breakout buy and we all know that that's uh, you know, we, that's the sort of guy that we sell into. We like those guys because they help us get that extra bit of cream on the top of the, of the break, don't they? So, um, what's, the, what's, the, what's the tradable idea? So, I think the tradable idea for, for here, if we weren't already in it, you know, we've seen that strength. Is a take read. We're going to take a th three second, five second trade. Uh, we don't know how much we're going to get out of it. Obviously, it's long. We'll take the long. We'll take those five lots of 17, maybe a few, eight, 17 and a half if, we, if, we're, if we're feeling greedy or whatever our trading plan allows us to do. Uh, you know, take those. Where would our stop be? Let's be honest, guys. You know, if it starts coming back and taking those 15s and half 15s, we want out. So it's literally that's all we're going to risk on this one, or we would risk, as, as I say, if we weren't already in from the pullback, which is the better trade. But the tradable idea from this would be take those 17s, 17s and halves, risking a few ticks, because the premise is that we're going to blast through that 19. The momentum's going to take us through. These guys at 15 and a half, 16, etc., who aren't filled are going to be causing the move or new buyers coming in we're going to get fresh buyers we're going to get trap shorts and we're going to get a spike high that's the premise that's what we're looking for uh we don't know how high or we don't know if it's going to happen or not but we're expecting that to happen we think of the high probability if it doesn't i think coming out into the into the 15 it's probably a bit is the best bet don't want to give it any more than that if we assume that that demands come there that it shouldn't really start to dip below that should it so i would be personally looking that if the 15 started getting hit i'd take it out I w we wouldn't give it any more than that because we don't want to be stuck in this do we you know it's a, it's literally a scalp tape read trade it's not the one of the ones we talk about more often in the uh i talk about more often in the videos you know the longer term stuff the ones that you can let run this is the one that you grab do all in all out bump done you know walk half out then half out a few seconds afterwards if you're not quite sure on the, on the read so yeah that's that's the read let's have a look and uh, play the play it back so yeah, look, there we go. And there's the pop now. You can see, look at that. We'll just pause that again. We've got there at the 19 and a half. You know, there's, there's, there's a 54 lot come on. I don't even know how much came on before that. Probably more than that. But he's not being filled. To be honest, you know, if we're in now, let's just lean on him. You know, I know we're, I know we're literally going to be seconds in this. We, we, it might be a little bit more of a squeeze. But he hasn't got his fill yet. Okay, if we can get him and others to go to market, there's another bit of leg in this. Let's just see. So he's still sitting there. They're trying him, trying him. I'll be ready to come out. I'll be ready. I'll be ready. I'll be ready. He's holding still. No, it's going to push. You see, you see, we're waiting behind him. And look at there's your push. 
Oof. You know, we'd, we'd, we'd wanted to scale some out into that. You know, we would, wouldn't we? Because it's nice and high. And we're seeing now there's a little bit more selling coming in there. You know, this is the interesting part. We've still got that 50 lot of 19 and a half. So if you wanted to, maybe we could leave a little bit and see how he goes. Ah, he's pushed up to 20 and a half now. See that? See him move up? Just pause that. I don't know if I can rewind. I don't think I can. But anyway, we see the guy there, 62 lots of 20 and a half. I think, you know, he's moved up. He's a little bit more aggressive. But see how there's quite a bit of trade done up at that 22 to 28. You look at the volume bars, they're growing quite a bit. We did 100 lots at 24. And, you know, that's that I would, you know, if we saw that sort of action, we're in at the 17, you know me, I'd be scaling out into that without a doubt. Um, and if you wanted to maybe keep some, just maybe lean on that 20 and a half guy. But that's going to be the turning point, isn't it? Because if he gets filled and he doesn't come back on and the buyers don't see him, let's play it. Um, then that's going to be okay. Well, the, the sentiment has changed very slightly. So we've got 20 and a half there. It's getting hit, it's getting hit, it's getting hit, it's getting hit. We see him, we see him. Oh, he's still okay. This, but look, the difference is now, right? We've got, let's just play that again, actually. Keep it going for a little bit longer. The difference is, is that people aren't that aggressive. You know, if you really wanted to buy, if you really wanted to see new highs in this, uh, and if you were really keen, you'd see that guy there at 20 and a half and in front running, wouldn't you? The spread's two at the moment. Two ticks, you know, so you could you'd easily get filled, wouldn't you, at 21. You go in there, stick your 10 lot in, stick whatever your trade size is in there at 21. You get filled, more than likely, and you can hide behind him. And there's even a 20 lot underneath him. So if you thought the momentum was with you, this is great. But notice no one's doing that. Not anyone with any size is doing that. You're seeing little guys come on. But look at this now. You see, you see that's, that's the little turning point that we know, okay, Trade's over, done. If, we're, if we've got any left, we are out of there. Um, and we can see how the seesaw, we talked about the seesaw, how supply demand uh, supply demand has shifted there. Okay, we've still got demand coming in, but there's a lot more supply. And notice how the demand is not as keen, even when they're seeing little telltale signs of guys sitting on there with, with decent size. Uh, he'd moved up from 19 and a half, I think it was, wasn't it, to 20 and a half. Um, so he's reasonably keen. He's not getting carried away with it. He knows how the markets work. He's not chasing. Uh, he, he's got his fill there. Um, but there was even when you had the spread of, of two ticks, you didn't see buyers coming in thinking, great, great. Now notice the difference of that based on what we saw back at 17. When we saw at 17, uh, we saw the 15 was filled, the, the offer, should I say, let me be a bit clearer here, the offer at 15 was filled, remember that. We had the 50 lot, I think, come on. We had some come on at the half, some come on at the 16, and then we were looking at the 17s to buy. So notice the difference in that. The difference is that buyers stepping up, stepping up, stepping up, stepping up, not getting filled. The difference here is the buyer is there, there's no more buyers stepping above him even though they could quite easily step above him and if they wanted a fill they would easily get that fill because there's a little gap there and the spread was wider so we're starting to get an insight into how the crowd's perceiving this or how the group of traders who are trading this are perceiving this and they're perceiving this is hey that's a little bit of an exhaustion move that people getting a bit carried away emotional orders we can see there are a lot of resting sellers sitting at those highs because the way the bars and the volume bars and the market depth have pushed out so now we're starting to turn. So we'll see it now, we'll watch. And just see, we're getting little battles here. You know, we're not seeing huge aggressive selling coming in, but I think it's more a case of, you know, on one of those slides in the, in the, in the program I said about um, how, how the balance can shift. It's either buyers backing off. You've got an equilibrium situation. You, you know, we had that seesaw with the two arrows pointing down at the weight. You've either got big buyers, big sellers on there at equilibrium, or you've got, and it changes, when you've either got an increase in one or the other or a decrease in one or the other. In this case, I think it's a decrease in buyers rather than an increase in sellers. Sellers are increasing slightly, but I mean a decrease in buyers. I mean the decrease in the aggressiveness of buyers. We know that for every buyer, it's got to be a seller. And vice versa, you know, it's one of the first things that's said. Um, but in terms of aggressiveness, you can see they're backing off a little bit now. Just stop the recording. They're backing off a little bit now, and that's causing the price to dip back. So an interesting little tape read, I think, that, guys. You know, uh, we didn't catch the, the, the pullback and... Uh, and break on the tape but we caught the fact that we're in pushed up the holding and what's going on in people's heads it was five seconds worth of movement literally but you can see how we can start to look through the window of the people what people are thinking and who's doing what and the clues that we started to get from that market depth now i haven't got a filtered uh, time and sales here 
Because they've literally just thrown it up. I literally, you literally normally just have one chart up uh, of, of each market I'm looking at in the mornings, and I glance at it when I'm doing other things and getting ready, prepared to go into the office to trade the the U.S. Open. Um, but as we start to see that, I thought let's just put some, let's even get time and sales up in their market depth and uh, and record it. And uh, yeah, it's interesting. I think it's a really good one to watch, you know, because we just see the difference between, you know, when we're holding about 17 and the 15, and we broke, and then as we broke, how the buyers responded and sellers responded. And the difference in that, based on what we saw, you know, as we'd pushed up and already flushed higher, and we're coming back down, how it responded then, and obviously. That little little helper, we had the little guy there, 54 lot, wasn't he? That, that if we took that trade idea, the little cheeky buy at 17 to front run the break, always like to front run the breaks rather than you know paying up into the breaks. Um, we saw that he would just help to stay in, wouldn't he? Because he pushed up, he pushed up, he pushed up, and it was all good. And actually, you know, once it, it really pushed higher again away from him, you know, it was no it was no brainer really to take it out because that's a, you know it's a nice little nice little push in quite a short space of time. And if we wanted to. You know, trail a couple, lean on him. We saw what happened. You know, he got filled, and uh, and that was it. So, yeah, interesting little tape read, uh, tape read capture. Uh, one to look at, one to to learn from. I'm definitely going to be watching it over and over again, and just re-examining it. But I thought I'd do a video for the uh, for the guys who bought the program because. Um, you know, I like to capture little things like this and uh, we'll share a like and hopefully we're all improving with our tape reading. So good trading, guys. Uh, as always, keep that risk managed. Uh, pointed out there the stop that we would take on that trade idea if we were going to do it. Uh, and we can see the logic for the stop. The logic for the stop is that, that you know, we're literally, it's the momentum. The momentum is we've seen those guys not get filled. We're expecting them to go to market and we're expecting others to go to market. We're expecting shorts to be trapped, blow through the high and the momentum to take us. If that doesn't happen in the next few seconds, we'll ditch it. You know, that's the name of the game. That's the short scalp setups that we don't normally talk about, but um, we know that we will get those if we can. All right, guys, take care.